Hello and welcome to the Tara's Kitchen with Pixel's Mom. Today I'll be making a fun and easy recipe of teriyaki noodles. For this you will need the following ingredients. Stick 16 ounces of thin spaghetti noodles and I chose to use angel hair. One cup of teriyaki sauce. One cup of snow peas. A bunch of green onions sliced in a diagonal. Two carrots shredded. One tablespoon of sesame seeds, which I did not have, so I substituted it for chia seeds, and a half a cup of cilantro, loosely chopped. I also did decide to add some mushroom because I'm not adding meat to this recipe, and I thought that would be a good addition to the recipe itself. Okay, our first step was to cook our angel hair pasta, which I have done, and now I'm going to drain that and rinse it with cold water. In the meantime, I cut up the snow peas, mushrooms, shredded the carrots and the onions as well as the cilantro and got the teriyaki sauce ready. I'm also going to be topping it and tossing it with chia seeds. All right, now that our noodles have been rinsed and drained, they're all loosely in our pan, it's time for me to add the vegetables. So I'm going to add the snow peas, and the carrots, and the mushrooms and I'm going to incorporate them all together combine them with the pasta I did take out some of the scat, um, green onions and the cilantro to the side so that I could add that top for the garnish itself now I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to add the teriyaki sauce. Combine that into our mixture. I'm going to add the chia seeds. continue to kind of combine this together. Combine the vegetables in and then I decided to add the cilantro and the onion and continue to incorporate it all together with the teriyaki sauce. Now this is going to end up making a wonderful teriyaki noodle dish. It smells very very good, very aromatic. I like all the fresh vegetables in it. I think the teriyaki sauce is going to be a good flavor benefit to it as well. All right, as I said, this is a very simple dish. There are many other vegetables that you can add to this, as well as edamame, mushrooms, which I did choose to put in, bok choy, frozen peas, onions, and bell peppers, zucchini, and any basically any vegetable you feel that you want to make it your own as well too. You can also add chicken or shrimp on this once it's all done. I tended to, I wanted to keep this as a vegetarian, de, de vegetarian meal, and that is how I chose to serve it like this. I'm going to dish some up, and we're going to see how it came out. I served myself up some in my bowl. I added a little bit of the green onions and a couple of sprigs of these flushed serranto, and now it's time for me to give it a taste and see how it is. It's really good. It has a very nice flavor from teriyaki sauce. The vegetables make it very light. It's not a very heavy dish, which I was afraid was going to happen because of the teriyaki sauce. However, it is not, and I enjoy it very much. This would have been really good if I had put some shrimp on it, but as I said, I wanted to kind of keep it as step-by-step -step to the recipe, except for the mushrooms. All right, I want to thank you all so much for joining me and watching my channel. I hope you all like and subscribe and share it with your friends and family. Give it a try. Let me know what you think and take care all.